Hi, I'm Aaron Ashbrook, and I'm an entomologist with the LSU Ag Center here for Get It Growing. And today I'm going to talk to you about bats and their conservation. As you can see, we have a bat house behind us. And ideally, we are placing our bat houses at least 12 to 15 feet off the ground so that the bats can take flight as they leave for the evening. Now, coloration is important for our bat houses because we want to make sure that it is not getting too hot on the inside. And so ideally, we're going to paint our bat houses white. And in addition, we want to reduce airflow on the inside by sealing cracks and crevices using caulk. We want to have ridges on the inside, which allow the bats to climb into the structure, as well as make toeholds in the area. Now, bats themselves, they're going to be eating a variety of insects in the environment, including moths, beetles, and in some cases, mosquitoes, if it is the correct bat species. And therefore, we want to conserve our bats and support them by either creating habitat in the form of bat houses, or if a tree is dead and it is not a hazard, we want to leave it standing. 